Men in Black 3 is just as confusing as Primer. Just like Primer, they don't explain how they time travel, but time travel is a little cooler in this movie. So in the beginning, an alien boy by the name of Boris the Animal jumps back in time to the time where he was arrested by Agent K. He then kills Agent K and prevents Agent K from saving the Earth, even though it wasn't even his, his, his idea. So that creates a branch timeline. And everyone forgets Agent K even existed, except for his partner, Agent J, who for some reason jumped with Boris into that timeline. This created a separate timeline. And only Agent J remembers Agent K, who was technically dead. Agent, K Agent J must go back and get another time machine, which they don't explain how it works. It just explains it, oh, you jump off a building and it sends you through time. And there's nothing about momentum needed to time travel. I've never heard a theory where you need to move, use any momentum to time travel. But anyways, Agent J goes back in time and has this, his old partner, Agent K. But this time, when he saves Agent J, Agent, when Agent J saves Agent K, he, he tells Agent K to kill Boris the animal instead of arresting him. This creates a third timeline where Boris the Animal is dead, both past and present self from this timeline. Agent K survives, and Agent J survives. So this created three timelines. Three timelines in the movie. What happened, what happened to this timeline? Where technically, neither of these two died. That still continued on. Because if you actually take into account of real time travel, and, ch and when you change time and time travel, it creates a separate timeline. Where Earth got invaded in this one, no one dies in this one, and then Cade is alive in this one, but Boris is dead, and the Earth is invaded. It's so confusing. End of review.